We are rolling right along on the West Coast Conference basketball tip-off day, and I'm now joined by San Diego coach Cindy Fisher and Amy Kane. Welcome. Thank you. You ready to get this season started? We're very ready. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, first of all, coach, about your program this year. What's your team going to look like? Well, we're a very experienced team. You know, I think we have amazing senior leadership, so I'm excited about that, starting with Amy. Um, you know, with Lise Barlow, Cameron Knudsen, Felicia Weinberg. So, you know, I'm really excited about that because I think your seniors are, are definitely your impact players and the ones that are going to lead you. And uh, so they've done an amazing job so far and, you know, getting us prepared for our first game coming up. And so we're just looking forward to a, a very competitive season again. Amy, what's it like to be one of those senior leaders? How much pressure or difference of, difference of a feeling is it out there for you? Um, I mean, it's definitely different knowing that this is my last season, but I like it. I like it a lot knowing that, I mean, there's a lot of pressure going into it. and um, But I just like to stay relaxed, and it's really fun, too, because we have a really fun group, and I love my team, and it's just it's going to be a really good year. So. And last year, went to the West Coast Conference Championship final game, lost to Gonzaga. But what was that experience like for your team to kind of bring you together and, you know, just really as a bonding experience, Amy? It was, it was a really good experience, and it was um, one of our goals from the beginning of the year to be able to play for the championship. And it's definitely a goal again this year um, to win the WCC. So I'm just really excited to be back there with my team again. And I think that last year that was a good experience for us to go into this year with that. And coach, how do you how do you take that game as momentum for this year and really use it to motivate your your players this year? You know, every game in the WCC is a tough game. <laughs> you know, I, I think that, um, you know, across the board, the conference is so competitive. And um, I think getting anybody in that kind of a situation in a championship game, you know, it's it's playing for a lot of different things. Um, it's great exposure, great fan base. Um, you know, the Orleans does an amazing job there. Um, so the atmosphere alone is just such a great experience for especially the younger players. You know, Amy's kind of a old pro at it's been there a lot, has gone through a lot. But, you know, those kind of moments for your team, there's no way that you can ever put that, put them in that situation unless they're there. So it's great. It's great exposure, great experience. And you have a challenging schedule this year. You're playing six teams that made postseason appearances. Actually, three of your first five games right. are against teams that played in the postseason. How does that help your team to build character and really get going once it time, comes time for conference play? Well, again, it's a credit to Amy and, and our senior group. I felt like we were a team that could really, you know, start out on the road. We start out at Northern Colorado, who is a very, very competitive team. You know, come home for um, uh, Arizona State, a good Pac-12 team. Uh, so, again, I, you know, I feel like they're ready. They're, they will be ready. They're competitive. They know how to win. Um, great senior leadership. Um, great support staff around them. So, you know, you go out there, you schedule as hard as you can to get ready for the conference play, and, and you take it one game at a time, knowing that you want to be playing your best, you know, come the first of March. Amy, your team was very strong offensively last year, and that started with you. Tell me about your team's offense this year. Um, well, I think that we're going to be a, a lot different this year. I mean, we're still going to have everybody contributing, and I think that that's the one thing about our team that is so great that any given night someone will step up and someone can score a lot, and I think that that's just the great thing about our team, but I think that that's hard for us. It's hard for our opponents to guard as well because they don't know who's going to step up. And if one person is having an off game, then someone else can come in. And I think that we're really athletic. We have a lot of athletic girls this year who can step up and who can produce that for us. So it's going to be really exciting, and I'm ready to see how they react to it. And you were no slouches on the de defensive side of the ball last <laughs> year either. Tell me a little bit about your defense, Coach. Well, that's funny because I, I – always complain that we're not very good defensively but uh, <laughs> you know I, I think we're obviously extremely competitive and it starts with Amy my gosh one of the most competitive people I've ever met in my life but you know she transfers that to the defensive end and and we totally understand that defense is going to create a lot of offense for us and and last year's team especially we had to create some easy buckets and that was with layups and, and getting to the rim as much as we could but we spend a lot of time on it probably more than they like to spend on it but um, it's something that we feel like wins championships and so we spend a lot of time on it right now and try to get a system that they they're comfortable with and just keep building on it and talk to me about this girl sitting right next to you because you've talked about her a little bit but just expand on how, how much she's meant to your program well, she means everything to our program. And, um, you know, Amy, it, we were just talking about it driving up here. There's not a more competitive person uh, probably that I've coached in my career. And, you know, sometimes um, 
it's just nice to have that leadership out there so it's not always me. And, you know, I, I think that she takes our team to a different level, her intensity, her leadership, her, her competitiveness, her, her, just her personality, her funness, you know, it's just whatever she is feeling, I think we kind of thrive on that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those people that you never, ever want to leave your program. You never want to be without them. And, um, and I, I am excited for her year. I, I am. I think she is, is the best player in the West Coast Conference. I think she is an amazing athlete, an amazing person, and, and I can't can't say enough about her. I love her, and um, she's she's gonna have a great year. Excellent. <laughs> I'll give you the chance. What's it like to play for Coach Fisher? Coach Fisher? It's awesome. I mean, I it was best decision in my life to come to USD, and I will say that over and over again because just. Every year she has pushed me so hard and she pushes all of us so hard to be the best that we can be. And coming in as a freshman, I was really intimidated. And um, I just, I have grown so much as a player and that, that's because of Coach Fisher and everything she, that she has taught me. I've learned so much and I mean, I love her. So it's just, it's, it's a great experience. And I mean, not only has she taught me so much about being a basketball player, but just a person in general. So it's, it's just been a great experience. And we could really see the chemistry with this team last season. And one of your mottos that I remember you guys telling me about during the uh, WCC tournament was don't flinch, which was a Jim Harbaugh quote. Is that still the motto this year or is there something else we're going with this year? Oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think we kind of grow into what our motto is for the, for the tournament. Um, you know, one thing was embrace the grind. I think that's something that we we live on and, and that's just, um, you know, Kaizen, I always express to them as one of my favorite words and that's continuous improvement. And right now um, it's about improving every day. It's about getting better, but you know, definitely don't flinch, right? You gotta believe that you're the best and you play like the best and, and that takes you far. This year, the West Coast Conference, another challenging year. What do you see as going to be the strengths, and which teams are you really looking for, out for this year in the West Coast Conference, Coach? Every team. <laughs> Every team, honestly. I mean, obviously, Gonzaga brings back um, a very, very talented basketball team. Um, you know, you can start from the top and go all the way down. I, I think Pacific joining the league is, is a, is a positive, positive. They're a very, very good basketball team. Lynn does an amazing job. Um, you know, all the way down, it's just um, St. Mary's. We always battle with St. Mary's. BYU has been kind of our, our nemesis. We haven't been able to, to, to get them, you know, at their place or our place. So, you know, we always want to battle them. But every night, you have to be prepared. You have to be ready. You can't take a day off. You can't expect anything. You just have to, you know, go into every one of them like um, it's a national championship and play hard and, and make sure that you're prepared prepared and, and do the best you can. All right, well, Coach Fisher, Amy, thank you so much for joining me. Best of luck this season. And we'll have more interviews on the West Coast Conference tip-off day coming up next.